Okay, welcome back. I'm exploring a parabola in standard form, and I want to see what would happen. In particular, I'm just looking at what what's the effect of changing the quadratic coefficient. <coughs> so notice that as I begun, can I set it back to where it was? As I begin there is an understood coefficient of 1 um, and because it's understood that means it's not even there you don't you don't put it in there that's because 1 is the um, identity of multiplication it doesn't do anything when you multiply by 1 so let's get rid of the effect of b setting it to 0 and similarly for the constant notice well, well we'll study that separately so let's just get rid of them <coughs> now, excuse me. So at the moment we have y equals x squared. Now this is called a toolbox parabola, and every other parabola is just a it's just a variant of it. But in particular, we're so we'll just start off and say without we see basically if I put if I just hop, move the parabola around, changing this is changing the shape, and where the parabola is, it makes no difference. So. We want to describe in our own words what is the changing it to do. So the first thing I see is it's inverted because it's upside down. So we call that inverted um, when it's negative. It's an inverted parabola when it's negative, and it's an erect or an upright parabola when it's positive when you have a positive value there. So an upright value, up, an upright parabola and an inverted parabola. The correct word there is an erect parabola and an inverted parabola. Now, um, <coughs> the so let's say, okay, so it's positive. It's facing upwards. And so what's what's the difference between having, say, a setting of four and having a setting of a half? And the way I see that is it seems to be more curvy. And there's a word for that curviness. It's called concavity. So you simply say it's got a concavity of 3. And it's all compared with 1, which has values like, let me see, oh, can I move this dot around? I can't, it's vertex, but out 1, up 1, out 2, up 4, and so on. That kind of rule of going up by an odd number breaks down once you change this from 1, but it just gets it just gets scaled. So a few more observations. Does changing the, the value of the quadratic coefficient change where the vertex is or change the or, and does it change the um, um, axis of symmetry now we can get into a false sense of security by saying it doesn't affect it because we do, must remember that these we must remember to experiment with these so let's just set them as non-zero and then ask the question does a change the positioning of the axis of symmetry and it's a resounding yes for both of these Okay, because both the dot, the vertex is moving. So, and we'll be using that later on as we do more and more about graphs. Probably studied enough about that, thank you.